Kele Muna, he ultimately will pay. Not only that, even though he's delaying their reward, ultimately, the Tzaddik has no problem with this. The Tzaddik understands that he'll be paid. And he appreciates that he's not paid here. Why? Because by not being paid here, it only increases the value of his accomplishment in this, in this world. No, but Kele Muna, like somebody once asked me, you know, person who's a professed atheist. Why does God make it so complicated for the tzaddik? I said, it's good. I said why don't you go ask the tzaddik? Your issue is you have six homes in different countries, but your issue is the, the tzaddik. Why don't you ask the tzaddik? Tzaddik has no problem. Kele Muna is we're speaking to the, to the outsiders. The tzaddik, he has no problem. Of course he understands Kele Muna. But we're saying even though the tzaddik, he's being held up, ain't ovel. Ultimately Hashem will pay him, the tzaddik. The tzaddik, of course, the tzaddik knows this. The tzaddik sees this as, as a benefit for him. That could be, that's, that's material. That's material. You could have physical situations. And firstly, that's only when, that's when all clouds are on that special level. All Jews behave properly, but let's say you have one tzaddik. Hashem doesn't single out the tzaddik. He, he, the same level of, of prescription, he gives everyone, the tzaddik gets that same one, maybe even worse. Even the Rosham, for the little bit they do, they paid in this world. Tzadik Yoshu, what's Tzadik Yoshu? Hakol Matzdik Malim is Dino. Ultimately, everybody will what? Will vindicate Hashem. V'chein Roy V'yoshu Lahem Tzadik V'yabrios Yoshu Hu Roy Latzdiko. Mars says an Arabian that ultimately when a person will be punished in the world to come, each person who receives punishment will say he deserves it. Nobody's going to be punished because there everybody will see the evidence is, is irrefutable evidence. This world person says why? When the person is judged in the world to come, everything's irrefutable. So therefore the person says, Hashem says, did you do this? Yes. Did you do that? Do you deserve the yes? And then he gets the punishment. So Rashi is learning, what's Ein Ovel? Kele Muna is going on the Tzadikim. Ein Ovel is for the Rishoyim. So this is a famous word I always mention name. My Rishiv Zechem Yudroch used to mention the name of Rabbi Zohar Salanter. Kele Muna Ein Ovel. What is divine justice? What is human justice? Man commits murder. So the judge says the man has to be put to death. The wife comes and pleads the case. She says, but you realize if you kill my husband, I'm going to be a widow. My children will be orphans. He employs a hundred employees, they're going to be all out of work. So the judge says, but that's, that's justice. Can't take that into account. The law says that the person commits murder has to be put to death. Hashem's justice is that whoever is affected by the, just, by the verdict, if he doesn't deserve to be <laughs> affected, that verdict will not be given. That means kele muna, he's the faith, there is no iniquity in his justice. There's no such thing as this fallout. If there's fallout and somebody's affected negative fallout, it's because he deserves that, whatever that fallout is. If he doesn't deserve it, then Hashem will not do it. That's, the, that's how Rabbi Shosh Salanta learns. There's no iniquity in his justice. Rabbi Meir Simcha explains, says it's similar. Sim, similar. It says that not of our view, when they when the died, it says, and they had no children. That's what Torah says. So the, he asks, well, what, what is Torah telling us that? They died. Well, it's a robot when they had children. So the Zifarno learns, because they would have had children, their children would have taken over their positions, not Elozni Summer. He says, no, because if they would have children, they wouldn't have been struck down, because why did the, why the children wouldn't deserve to suffer. So therefore, the, the, ju the, the judgment would have been a different type of judgment. But because they had no children, the only one affected was Aaron, because he deserved to be affected, because he participated in Chet Egel, therefore that's the reason why they were struck down.